Hey guys, in today's tip I'm going to be discussing a towel bench, or in this case a foam rolling, a foam roller bench, to where this is going to actually help you guys with strength increases on the bench press. Check it out. Hey guys, Mike Mackerlane with another episode of Workout 101 on WorkoutTrain.com. So as you heard, we're going to be discussing the towel bench, or we don't have the towels here. So we're going to be using a foam roller. Now, if you guys have never done a towel bench before, why, right? Well, first things first, we all know that when we're benching, we have what's known as the sticking point. Okay, now there's different ways to overcome the sticking point. This is what's known as a partial rep training type of movement which means you're working within the strongest points of your muscles range of motion. As you bench, when you're benching and you unrack the bar, this first 50% eccentrically, this is what's known as eccentric motion when the barbell is moving down. Right about here, once you break that 50%, this is what's known as a sticking point. I mean, you guys heard me talk about this before. This movement back up concentrically, so this right here, you are technically at your weakest part in that muscle's range of motion, which limits the amount of weight that you can do. You get stuck. Somebody's got to lift it up off your chest. Now you can do certain things like negative rep training to where you just focus on the eccentric part and your buddy pulls up the bar. You can also do things to where you add bands, which is my favorite way to do it, to where the weight ratio changes to where the weight gets lighter down here and then the further you press up, it gets heavier. That way you're actually hitting the uh, muscles in their strongest point with the heaviest load. Another way to do it, if you're training by yourself, which I don't necessarily recommend you do this exercise because the goal here is to increase the weight more than what you would normally do. So the chances of you not getting it up are actually very, you know, they're on the, they're on the rise of likely not getting the weight back up because you're trying to push for max weight. But what you want to do is you want to get some type of whether it's a towel, whether it's a shirt or something, to where you have an actual contact point to where you know you're gonna go down. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that it's roughly about you know, four or five inches from your chest depending on your range of motion. And the reason for that is because this right here, that puts me right into that 50% range to where when I go down, the barbell touches right here. It's working within that muscle's strongest point and pressing back up. But I'm overloading what I would normally be able to do with the number of reps that I'm performing. And the reason for that is because your body is strong here. So it does two things. It makes you actually increase the weight where your muscles are likely to you know, facilitate that movement. And also, there is something to be said, and I literally haven't seen any research on this yet, but there is something to be said about just feeling that weight. Once you start feeling the heavier weight, the other way, when you take this out and you actually do a normal bench, it does feel more controllable to where you actually can press it, all right? So in the instance of here, the same, same techniques are employed with the five contact points. My right foot, my left foot, my butt, my head, and my shoulder blades all remain in contact with the surface. So what I'm doing here is I'm just obviously loading up the weight to where it's heavier than what I would normally do within a certain rep range. And forgive me guys, I'm kind of cold here. So what you want to do is go ahead and get positioned, unwrap the weight, go down, touch and come back up. And that is how you do the towel bench, working within that muscle's strongest range of motion. It's a partial rep training technique that allows you guys to overload the muscle as much as you possibly can and working within a short range of motion to help develop those muscles be aware of how much they're lifting to work is actually going to help you with breaking through plateaus. You lower the weight down once you've done this the next day or whenever your, your cycle starts with the regular bench press, you're going to slowly start seeing the increases come. It's the same concept as partial rep training when you're doing squats, where you're doing half squats, rack deads, 
Same type of wheelhouse is what we're talking about here. It's just another variable to add in the next time that you guys try benching. Give it a shot. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please ask me on the Workout Trainer Facebook page or anywhere where this video is posted. I'll do my best to answer. And if you're watching this video on WorkoutTrainer.com, click below because there is a workout program that utilizes this very movement in a structured plan. It takes all the guests work out for you guys so you can actually give it a shot. Till next time, it's Mike Mackerley. Take care.